Hello everyone and welcome to Jack Scraps. I am Jackie and tonight we are going to explore the sew ribbon. Julie um, put a comment on the Mega Tuesday morning video wondering if you needed a separate punch board for this to work and the short answer is you do not. Everything you need is included in the package so I thought we would explore this together. This particular sew ribbon is the one that looks like the leaf. So you get the two plates, at least that's what I'm calling them, and they're attached by magnets, the three magnets here, and they have like a measuring feature on both sides actually. Looks like it might be inches and centimeters. And then here is the punch tool. Have to be careful because I'm kind of prone to accidents. <laughs> so, and the tool, actually the little hole is where you can store the cutter. And then you also receive A small supply of these little tapes which pull the ribbon through and I'll show you in just a moment so that's what you get everything right there is what you get for $2.99 regularly $14.99 at Tuesday morning in case you didn't see the prior video <laughs> all right now on the back side of it does give you the four steps to complete this. So I thought first we would try it on just a regular piece of paper. Okay, so we're going to take the plates apart and put our paper where we want it to be. We're just gonna line it up here on the side as if we were doing it down the side of the page. And then you take the, um, the blade and you line it up with these lines here and you push it in and it's supposed to cut the paper. Ah, aha, so the first two I did did not go in all the way. So you have to push a little bit once you get it in there. So you push, put it in and push. You can definitely tell the difference when it goes through. Some are a little harder than others. Let me show you. So there it's in all the way. And then when you first start to punch, that's what you get. Okay? That was scary. <laughs> I didn't know if the blade would come out the other side. <laughs> Okay, ah, look at there. So we'll put these together, we'll put this back in there for safety's sake. Now, we'll take, this has a plastic piece on it, so you wanna take that off. And I've already cut, whoop, wrong ribbon. I'm using this Floral Garden Scalloped Edge Ribbon. I just cut probably about nine inches. Since this is eight and a half, it looks a little bit more. So you put this on the end of the ribbon and then close it over. So this is to help you guide it through the holes. 
So it doesn't tell you which end you should start with, but I imagine you'd want to start with the underside. And then pull it up. And this might be a little bit harder because I'm not using a straight edged ribbon. You know, like something like this, where it's just straight on the side. I'm using one that's, of course, has a pattern. So what I'm going to do is actually put a little piece of tape there so it doesn't go all the way through when I'm pulling it. Okay. So then we just really start weaving it through and then back through. And then kind of pull it just a little bit to get it straight. I must say this really helps pull it through. Oops, I got twisted a little bit there. There we go. didn't think it was going to have enough. But we do. There. Look how pretty that is. So to what the way to adhere it is I would just put regular adhesive glue under each side and let's see if we can take this off and reuse it. So it does appear that it might be reusable. Probably could only get a couple times out of that. It's also gonna be a little hard to line it back up. There. Good enough for now. But yeah, I would probably just add some adhesive, not actually tape. <laughs> And there you have it. That's really cute. So I um, printed out some images from Graphic 45. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I printed out some images from Graphic Fairy. I have a membership with them. And I thought I would um, cut this out and make a little journal and send it to Julie who had the question. But let's see how it would look on here. Okay, so I've taken this um, printed image that I got from Graphics, Graphic Fairy and I am going to go ahead and punch the holes in here. Now you have to consider where the holes end up. So I was looking at this before and this would have been across this part here. Well, I'm not gonna wanna do that, right? So I moved this up. So I will start here and end here. I won't do the last two holes because it just won't look right. You'll end up with the ribbon out here rather than underneath. Oh, I almost did it, didn't I? Okay. It's kind of hard to get these punched down in there. Okay. I cut 
really well, though, I must say. Very well. And we will realign our sticky piece here. Here we go. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time and add a piece of adhesive here just to be safe. Now this is on 28 pound paper that I purchased from Red River and I can put those details down below. It's actually um, photo paper and it's one sided so on this side you'll see it's very white and then on the other side it's a little bit not as shiny, more matte. It's a good quality paper. But it's thicker than copy paper in most cases. And there we are at the end. So it looks really pretty on both sides actually. This gives it a whole different design. And then here it is on this side. So very cute. So I will take this page and make it into a little booklet and send off to Julie for having that great question. And thank you all for watching me today. And I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um, feature debut of a We Are Memory Keepers Sew Ribbon Kit. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I thought I would show you what I made with the Sew Ribbon page that I created. I went a little crazy. <laughs> it started out to be a small little journal. I actually really like this a lot. Um, so here it is. This is the front. And it is about six and three quarters by five. And here is the back. And it is sewn down the center. I did double stitch the ends. On the inside, I, um, so all of the images and the deco paper that you see is from Graphics Fairy. I have a membership with them. You previously saw me haul the Ribbon Boutique Red Ribbon or Lace. And so I used that here. This was the one that actually had a backing to the lace, so that was really nice. Just put in little journaling cards throughout. And this one, I actually shrunk the page and just made it like a little booklet. Created a belly band here. It's a music sheet. Added some lace remnants here. This is a library pocket and the library card. Added some of the images to it. There's a little tuck up here. Again, some more little journaling cards. Now on this page here, there's a 
place to tuck little items down below as well as up top. And here's those cards. I love this crackling here on this page. Very cool. And then on the music sheet, I cut out, fussy cut some of the flowers and added those here as well as up top here at the top of the ribbon. This was the back side. And here was the front side where we used the sew ribbon. And here I just created a little tuck with another little card. And here's the back side. I added some more of that lace and two little cards to journal on or add photos. And that's it. So I will be sending that out to Julie. And thank you so much for your question. So I'll see you next time.